Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chassis Variant Series with myself, Critical Rocket, and indeed it is glorious, as it's uh, said, and, oh, just uh, mute that game sound for a second so it doesn't come over the microphone as I'm warbling to you. So yes, this is the first of the Charger Variants that I have available to me, this is the Charger 1A5. This is an interesting Charger, it's a, it's a Capella model, but it's actually based on one that was mentioned in my Law Warrior video back before the variants were ever kind of properly nailed down in uh, Battletech books, so 3025. Onwards and around that period you had what was called the uh, Charger 1L. Uh, the Charger 1L was an attempt to basically remedy the five small laser issue by uh, basically stripping it down in some places and giving it a large laser and a couple of mediums, but the problem was that mech was relatively uh, underperforming still. It was too hot, uh, it didn't have enough heat sinks, the arm lack of armour then made it uh, ineffective in its intended role as a fast scout, and it actually lost some speed. So the 1A5 was uh, a totally different attempt at using the Charger, and turning it into a more of a conventional heavy assault mech instead. Uh, to that end, uh, it strips out quite a few of the uh, equipment pieces inside the Charger, namely the engine is dropped considerably, it no longer runs at uh, 80 one or 87 kph depending on your speed tweak. Its uh, base uh, runs at about 64 or 66 kph, uh, meaning it's still quite fast for an 80 tonner. It can keep pace with n numerous heavies, and uh, it's still got a decent amount of armor. Uh, the main differences here is that it brings some ballistics uh, to the party, uh, namely in the form of an AC-20. It also has a pair of SRM-6s, uh, uh, specifically the uh, model Baikal uh, series produced in Battletech, and uh, a medium laser and a small. <clears throat> Essentially you end up with a pretty effective short range mech, uh, so it turns the Charger 1A5 into a pure brawling machine. And uh, my damage in this match isn't particularly brilliant, but there are a couple of people on this in this match who will hear their war horns regularly and you will see that between them they get a significant number of the kills and their hard work was captured here on uh, on film, so to speak, and uh, I I think it deserves uh, to be uh, to kept uh, to be kept here on the channel uh, because damn it, they both did a fantastic job uh, for their um, yeah, for their worth. There, they they did some phenomenal work. Uh, one of the players uh, is in a charger as well, and his uh, I think he just got his first killer. Uh, he's he's got a, a phenomenal laser boat version there of it. Uh, it just shows the potential of the Charger as a, an energy boat assault, and it can do some significant damage very quickly. Uh, one of the other guys is a member of TCAF, who were all pretty good players anyway, let's be fair. Uh, so yeah, um, personally I really like this model of the Charger, the 1A5 is quite cool. It's actually not too bad for heat, uh, it's emphasis on the sort of short range brawling nature of it means it works well uh, in the middle of a, of a scrum. Uh, you can uh, very rarely overheat this thing because I don't think the weapons can fire quick enough uh, to cause a heat spike and um, yeah once you're in that sort of medium range uh, medium laser range uh, you can do a hell of a lot of damage very quickly it's got a lot of maneuverability and yeah uh, the armor is still pretty decent and this is I don't think this one is skilled either uh, I believe no I didn't I didn't put any skills in this thing so it's not even running optimum so to speak so you can squeeze even more out of this thing, uh, and I definitely think it's worth having a look at. If you uh, if you haven't picked up the chargers at this point for C bills, I'd say because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say whether you should or shouldn't. I think you would have made your decision by now if you want to pick up a, a charger pack. Uh, this is a pretty damn fun variant alongside the 1A1. So yeah, uh, it's uh, it's pretty good. And uh, this this round, I, the the kills were just they, they were just racking up for these two. I think they got. By the end of it, if you don't see the scoreboard, they got ten between them. Uh, one one person got six, the other person got four. Holy shit! <laughs> I can't see through the preview window because it's too small. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, you'll see their names uh, pop up on the scoreboard, and you'll, as I said, you'll hear their war horns regularly. Damn, they, they had a phenomenal game, and uh, I was I was really glad that I could record this because it's so rare that obviously players who have these great matches ever get their stuff sort of you know captured. And, uh, and uploaded anywhere, so uh, uh, this is this was quite good. Plus, I, I was in the fight, and uh, I tried to get stuck in a bit more near the end, trying to get my damage up. 
um, because it was like, holy crap, this, this, this I, I'm being carried. I'm being carried hard, and uh, I need to, I need to try and pull some weight here. So yeah, I got involved a bit more uh, aggressively at the end, and uh, I believe that was the the last one. So yeah, scoreboard's gonna pop up. Have a look at that. Feast your eyes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a good week, and uh, yeah, I will uh, see you uh, next time. Bye bye. What do you think, Heap? Was that was that good enough? Heap. God, you're a cat, Heap.